valid points. All right, so talking about 5G, we do have some 5G networks that are opening up here in the United States, or there where you are in the United States. Oh, all right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's going to be um, in weird places in Texas. Um, like, I think San Antonio's in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, for some reason, Los Angeles is not. Yeah, it's Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Louisville, Oklahoma, New Orleans, Raleigh, South Carolina, and uh, San Antonio and Waco. So, mm. I yeah, thought so it's, San Francisco was too. Yeah, you know, me too. But this is for AT and T. Um, so oh, this isn't okay. Verizon. But the right, reason right. why I wanted to talk about this article was because. Uh, it touches a little bit on pricing. Now, the annoying thing to me is every time you go from 2G to 3G to 4G, the carriers up the price. Right. And really, when we've talked about 5G a lot on this podcast previously, and it's not really going to change your browsing. It's not going to make your websites load a whole lot faster. No, they're already what, loading fast. They're already loading fast. What it's going to do, it's going to help you download your apps a lot faster that are big. It's going to help you stream yeah like 2k 4k video is going to be much better but uh, you see the problem with it is when i was reading this article not only is at&t upping their price from 50 dollars a month to 70 dollars a month which is 20 extra dollars it's capping it at 15 gigabytes and so i mean the whole point of 5g is that you can download 15 gigabytes super fast seconds seconds (laughs) you're gonna be done you're gonna be (laughs) using that for a day and then it's done yeah. you know and um when i went uh, to utah this weekend i actually ran out of uh, 4g and so i i called up my cell phone plan yeah. and i said i'd like another gigabyte and they're like okay we'll give it to you for ten dollars guess how long it lasted eight hours i opened spotify for a little bit i downloaded a couple of podcasts i sent some yeah. emails and then i quickly got a text message oh your gigabytes used so um you know, I, I think this is just such a clever way of the phone companies to charge you more money for not really getting anything extra. Yeah, milking a little more. It, I agree. I'm hoping that the prices will come down. I remember when 4G came out and it was expensive, but now prices have dropped a little bit, especially here in Canada. Data has been so expensive here in Canada. So we're getting a little bit more competitive, nothing like what you guys see down there in the U.S., Um, But I'm hoping 5G will get more affordable, and really it's more the Internet of Things. That's the promise of 5G when everything's connected, which we previously talked about is kind of scary if all the cars are connected by 5G and shut them down, or they could be (laughs) hacked, or, you know, like there's, there's a lot of concerns around those things as well. But at the same time, I think it's fascinating. Think about how quickly traffic can move if every car knows where the other cars are. Think about the incidents and traffic accidents that can be prevented. And, you know, like I, not just in vehicles, but every little thing out there can be connected and communicating. I, I think it's going to completely revolutionize the way we live, but we also have to be careful of the negative effects, the hackers, the um, the way it will impact our society. We've got to be ready and prepared for it too. And like uh, Slashdot said, if we stop having car accidents, then we'll stop having um, organs to donate. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't read that, but you know, valid yeah. point. That is probably where 90%, if not more, of the organs come from. Get your um, kidneys now. <laughs> get them now. Hey, I got two. I'm going to sell it on, on the black market in 10 years. That's going to be worth a lot. Nice. Just don't accept Bitcoin. It's not doing so hot right now. Yes, don't do it. 